Hello Libras and welcome to Deku Tarot. I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot reading for March 11th through the 17th of 2019. Um, alrighty guys, so um, I just want to say thank you all so so much for all of your support and everything. Um, thank you guys so so much for all your shares, all your subscribes. We hit 10,000 subscribers this weekend and um, I could just not be more thankful. Thank you guys so much. I love getting to do what I do every day. Um, it's just been amazing. So thank you guys. I can't believe we hit this in under a year. Um, let's continue it. So definitely keep sharing. Um, definitely subscribe and check out all your monthly videos, your yearly 2019 to 2020, um, videos, as well as your, the Uranus and Taurus video. Definitely check that out because that's going to be very relevant for the next seven years in a very international and global way. So again, definitely check that out because the last time Uranus was in Taurus, um, I mean, we, we entered World War II, um, you know, we were coming out of the Depression, we entered World War II, the bombing of Pearl Harbor happened, you know, as it made its way out. We're definitely going to feel Uranus and Taurus strongest in the beginning and um, in the end, so definitely check out that video to see how those changes might affect you, and I'm going to be trying to get all your Uranus and Taurus videos out for all the signs um, as soon as possible. Anyways, Libras, let's get right into your weekly reading. This is for Libra Sun, Moon, rising and venus it cannot and will not resonate with every single one of you let's see what messages come through for you guys this week in terms of what's coming in and then we'll look at what's coming in for love this week or what we can expect in terms of love this week all right you guys in terms of general life career I wonder, let me know in the comments how Mercury Retrograde's been affecting you guys. I swear, um, I just, oh my god, I've been having so many problems with the internet, with uploading things, um, videos disappearing, having to start things over a bunch of times. Oh my gosh, it's been crazy. Just posting the wrong things for some reason, some things are just flipped. It's very annoying. And then the router problem yesterday, and now today when I set up to video, to shoot the videos, I, my, uh, my camera stand broke. <laughs> So I'm using this old one now until I get another one. We have the Nine of Rods here. So let me know how it's been affecting you guys. I have Mercury and Aries, so this is hitting me pretty hard. <laughs> Alright, what's coming in for my Libras? Ooh, Temperance. You also get Justice. You guys are in the middle of your reading here upright. So, um, we're definitely seeing things very clearly. We're showing up very strong, very centered. Not so much having life flipped on our heads at this moment. It kind of feels like you guys are almost at this kind of, you can almost feel like an, a standstill, balancing standstill here. We could be kind of blocked to the outside world and outside energies right now, King of Swords. You guys have like all of your energy right here. I mean, this is Sagittarius type energy. And again, Temperance to me is my like, it's my card of um, almost like alchemy. You know, evaluation and adding, mixing for a better um, internal balance here within our life, our emotions. I often see it, um, it can also mean hormonal balancing as well. I know that's a weird message, but it could be that. <laughs> that's just a message that I got for maybe one of you. Some of us might be going through something like that there, but let's see. This is coming in for you guys in your general life and career. Interesting read, Page of Swords. All right, let's spread these out here and then get some clarifiers. Clarify the Nine of Rods and Temperance for my Libras. Get some water. What's going on here? Nine of Rods, clarify the Nine of Rods and Temperance for my Libras this week. Six of Pentacles reversed. Okay, interesting. Clarify Temperance. Ooh, what is popping out in the middle of the other? Seven of Swords reversed. All right, I feel like we're coming to some realizations where... Let me try to put a word to these feelings as I get some more here. Justice. Clarify justice to the King of Swords here for my Libras. March 11th. 
the 17th. Very balanced thinking here. There's a very, um, I mean, you're very clear, very clear this week. I don't know, you're clear seeing, clear thinking, but almost very quiet. Nine of Cups, interesting. And what else wants to come up? The Tower. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, sorry, your cards are just like flew out there at the end. And that's, there seems, yeah, it's like you guys are like, that's the word I was trying to like, I was, I was picturing just like a, like a big stone dam. And I was just pulling your cards and now I understand why. Because we have um, a breaking of the dam here at the end of the week. Um, some type of information comes in out of nowhere. Or you see something with the Page of Swords. <clears throat> can often indicate, I don't know, it's, it sometimes indicates to me as like social media type spying, um, you know, looking, somebody either spying on you or you checking out something with somebody else here, either through like Instagram, I don't know, all that other stuff, like it doesn't have to be that, like Facebook, I don't know. Whatever it is, it, it kind of feels like there's like a, like somebody is either spying, I feel like you guys see something through the internet, you spy something through the internet or somebody, maybe an Aquarius points something out to you. Somebody might, you know, message you about something or you might see something here. And it brings about this tower moment with a two of cups situation here. I don't... Hmm. So yeah, there's definitely... I don't know, it's almost like at the beginning of the week. Anyways, let's go back to the beginning of the week and then we'll delve into this after because I don't want to go backwards here because again um and I apologize for this coming out late guys we just I, I couldn't post anything after um a certain point tomorrow because these videos will take like eight plus hours to upload without internet or they just won't upload at all so um I couldn't do that so I apologize for this being late so I know this is Tuesday so I don't know this beginning of the week here it feels like we're experiencing some type of imbalance in terms of work we're experiencing, you know, Monday, Tuesday, I don't know, it could have it could have hit yesterday, it could be hitting now, moving forward. Again, this could all happen within a day, it could have happened last week, it could happen next week. Um, but I am focusing around March 11th through the 17th. So, this is a really interesting feeling here. Again, I just feel like we're being very quiet, we're almost like stone-faced to the world here up until, well, internally we're having some realizations. Seven of Swords reverses, we might be realizing, you know... We're having something come out here. There's somebody's telling us something. Somebody's something is coming forward. Maybe it's a Sagittarius that's coming through on something and telling us whatever um, is being revealed here. But again, I feel like this is more of an internal realization. Something that is internally being revealed to you just by I don't know. It just kind of seems to come in here. The Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles here is, you know, when it's reversed, there's there's a there's illusion about, you know, the give and take of a situation. There's illusion about the balancing in terms of probably a material situation here, in terms of money, in terms of um, money being given and taken here, whatever. You know, if, if you put something into something and somebody has not given you back what you deserve, we're going to feel a little bit imbalanced here. We're going to feel like we maybe need to evaluate our boundaries you're feeling very closed off about talking about it though it feels like here we might be feeling very frustrated in terms of a work situation about how much we're putting in and how much we're getting out of it so there is a need to reevaluate you know our boundaries with the nine of wands the nine of wands is kind of you know on edge expecting the worst you know preparing ourselves for something to happen here you know we're vacillating on some type of important matter because we're disappointed we're having kind of Again, we're feeling very desolate, very alone. Like I've been saying, very stone-faced, very quiet, kind of isolated in terms of I don't really want to talk about this. I'm feeling tired, frustrated. Like I just need to go within and just like feel this right now. It's feeling kind of just, I don't know, like low, very disappointed, frustrated. We're vacillating on some type of important matter that has to do with an imbalance in terms of what we're being, you know, what we're putting into something and what we're getting out or what, you know, how much we've given to somebody and how much they haven't, you know, given back. Again, you could have lent money to somebody and have not have had money come back here. You might be realizing this week about they might have something to do with that. You might have something to do with, like, I don't know, I'm kind of getting this message that, you know, you might have given something to somebody and you might be realizing that, you know, they didn't really need all that help. And that's kind of frustrating you here. So... Again, we're feeling very, I don't know, I'm feeling very, like, you're making a big sound judgment here. You're making a judgment. You're balancing something out in a very, 
I don't know, mature way here with the, the hero font and this justice card. I'm like, I don't know, you guys have a very serious vibe to you this week. Very serious, very clear. Again, very clarity. It's all about the clarity. You're, 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 it's like you're understanding something here. Something's coming out and you're understanding it. It's like you suddenly see something for more than what it has, you know, portrayed itself to you in, in the past. Hero font, justice. Hmm. Hero font is often about listening to our higher again it tells it tells you to you know slow down do something more traditionally approach something in a more traditional manner i don't know i'm gonna get a clarifier on this this is you guys have some really intense energy i mean uranus and taurus yeah, we're in mercury retrograde that's why i feel like we're going through a lot of internal everyone's going through something very internal this week but and i kind of got that same feeling for virgo of an internal journey though well, theirs was a little bit more external yours feels very much below the surface clarify justice the hero font Seven of Swords here, reverse. Yeah, Five of Rods. Okay, there's like a fight or something here. I don't know. There's something going on here. Something to do with a group of people. You're finding something out here, and you're needing to find some type of justice here. You're like, no, no, no. This is not. This is not right. You know, we need to do something about this. You guys could actually be leading a situation. It could be. You could find something out about somebody. Some type of imbalance here. Somebody's kind of screwed you over. Somebody's done you wrong here, or taken from you, and you. Could might even garner a group together and say something about it or you might say hey like you know i'm not putting up with this i'm like we're not i'm not dealing with this crap anymore like you did this to me like this is this was not right here you didn't need this or i don't know what it's about exactly and i'm not going to get too into it because it is just a general reading um and if you want guys want to book your own private reading all that information is below this video in my description box but um there's definitely something that comes out about an imbalance in your life. You're somebody taking from you or somebody not giving you what you were owed. Or taking from you when they didn't need to. And you're putting up a fight about it. It kind of seems like we're... We're, we're holding people, or again, we're holding ourselves accountable for our actions. We're, it's almost like we're stepping up here and we're saying something like, no, this isn't right, and I'm doing something about it. Like, I know what's right, I know what's not right, and I need to do something about it some people could say hey don't say anything about this or don't do this and it could cause some fighting it could cause some some situations to erupt here but when the king of swords and the knight of cups there you I, it feels like we're getting recognition for this we're doing the right thing so again if you need to stick up for yourself or say something about a situation this week libra i would say do it um it does feel again you might just kind of be on the outskirts of watching something happen here, though, as well. But, you know, with the, with the Justice card, Temperance, Hero Font, this kind of, the, all of these are kind of stand-back type of cards. They're not kind of, they're all very stony faces, as you can tell, and that kind of, that really does speak something to me. Like, they're not exactly the most action-oriented card. Like, you know, the Tower, there's a lot of stuff happening. They kind of, they already know what's going on here. They've done the balancing. They see the situation for what it is. They can foresee that. And that this is the information. It's like you guys are like watching something kind of fall apart here. And I mean, you might be called upon to enter this fight and say something like I was just saying. But I think, you know, say your piece. Stick with that and don't do anything else. Be very mature about it. Be very, again, you guys are good about that. You see things from different perspectives. You understand the situation from both sides. You're not going to get wrapped up in the emotions about it. You're not going to get wrapped up in all of that. And you're going to be the wise counselor here, honestly, in this fight, I feel like. Something comes out about the imbalances. There's a big issue here. And you guys are... It's almost like you expected this. You could foresee this coming. You knew this was going to happen. You knew something was up here. And you have your boundaries all up here. You're like, I didn't do anything wrong. I was in the right here. Um, I never, you know, did anything wrong here. I'm not to blame. So because of that, because you weren't directly involved in whatever's coming out and whatever is happening here with this issue again i feel like it's like a workplace situation we're balancing it out we're seeing it for what it is and we're kind of the wise counselor here we know what's up and we're not you know letting it mess with our own balance here we're again we're staying almost out of it in a good way but if people kind of ask you about it you're, you're gonna say one thing and you're gonna be like that's my piece and that's all i have to say and this should be this way and you know this is what happened you know you're just being very clear upfront, straightforward about everything you're not playing this game you already with all this major arcana energy, like, you guys are this energy of, I know what's up here, like, I'm not playing into all this petty bullshit anymore. Anyways, Nine of Cups in the Tower here. It does feel like, um, I'm gonna pull, you guys, you and Virgos needed a lot of clarifiers this week. You guys have some deep layered energy. 
Very Shrek energy. <laughs> you guys got layers. All right, let's see. Clarify the King of Swords, Nine of Cups, the Tower. My Libras this week. Let's hope your love reading isn't as crazy and complicated. Yeah, it's a work situation. Um, interesting. What does it bring in that with that Tower, Two of Cups? Oof, okay, interesting, yeah. Six of Rods, it does feel like whatever happens here puts you in a better position in terms of work. You either might get a raise or um, get a different job or something that comes in because somebody saw how well you were dealing with this. They offered you something else. It could have, it could have nothing to do with this situation as well. But um, it does put you off in the right direction. It's very surprising. This tower comes in out of nowhere and offers you possibly a partnership, possibly a deal here, some type of something coming through here in terms of work that is a very, really, really wonderful. I don't know. I mean, it's, it's a wish come true card. So whatever you've been wishing for, wanting and work, um, especially in terms of, you know, either how you're like, what type, whatever type of jobs you're doing, you might be kind of tired of what you've been doing. And this could be the offer that you've been waiting for. It puts you out in the right direction here. Or you put something out and it gets received very well. Someone sees what you're doing very and, and is very impressed and offers you something, I think, out of the blue. And again, that's not going to be the exact same thing for all of you. This could just be one Libra that gets this, but it does seem like something is coming through very sudden very suddenly out of nowhere and is offering you a really great partnership and a really um, kind of a spot in the limelight there. People are going to be like, yeah, hell yeah, Libra, you got this. You got where you wanted to go here. We're celebrating um, moving forward in the right direction and possibly with either a new, could be love, love partnership or um, a new partnership in general. That is going to be really, really great. So anyways, Libras, that was a really long general read there, but you guys had a lot of... Ooh, big messages, big messages. You guys are like in quite the position of power this week. You guys have like internalized and balanced yourselves out. And God, Aquarius season must have been really balancing for you. <laughs> Anyways, let's check out love for you. Love for my Libras. All right, let's get it with my Hobbit deck here. That was my Aquarian Tarot deck. All right. Gosh, that was a really long general part. Sorry about that. But I mean, I can't shorten the messages. They come in how they come in <laughs> for each of the signs. I don't like to put caps on that unless I feel it's necessary. But I really just don't like to. I just allow it to come in naturally and how it's supposed to. All right. Love for my Libras, singles, couples for March 11th through the 17th of 2019 be happening. Ooh, the star. It's this here. King of Wands. Ace of Cups. Interesting. I guess, sorry, Ace of Cups reversed. Six of Swords. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's happening? King of Wands. Sorry, Page of Wands. Why did I say that? I was looking at the King of Wands. Okay, let's get some clarifiers here. Let's get some clarifiers. Clarify the star and the King of Wands for my Libras in love. Star. Clarify the star. Strength. Interesting. Some of us might have a Leo coming in here or be dealing with a Leo. Might have a Leo coming in to try to heal things with us. King of Wands. Clarify the King of Wands. Star right here. What's happening? Yeah, the lovers. Okay, I want to put this here, though. Somebody's offering us a choice here. There's a choice coming in. You guys have a choice. Ooh, what's happening here? Oh, come on. Why is like half the, you guys have a lot. I don't know if uh, you guys have really big energy here. Virgo also got this card. Do you check out Virgo's reading? I feel like some of you guys might have placements in Virgo's or need to see that for some reason. I don't know. They had a really intense reading too that you and Virgo just feel different. What is, you Virgo, Gemini, you guys all feel very different. Everyone feels really crazy, honestly, in this energy though. So what am I saying? Uranus hit Taurus, and all of a sudden, everything is just really shaking up right now. Astrologically, things are really all over the place. <laughs> Ace of Cups reverse, Six of Swords. Clarify the messages of the Ace of Cups reverse. 
King of Cups, Six of Coins, Six of Swords, Six of Coins. Yeah, I don't know. We're having... Wow, okay. Um, we're having a choice this week. For those that are single, I really feel like we're having a choice here. Or even if you're not single, you might... Somebody's offering you something. There is a choice. We're sitting on the fence about something. The Two of Swords is... To me, it's, it's, I know that I need to make a decision and I can foresee that, you know, this is something, but I'm not going to make a decision on it. You know, this is being in the middle of two paths and purposefully sitting on that fence. Um, anyways, yeah, the, the star, the lovers, though, there's um, a feeling of getting there. There's a feeling of getting to a point that kind of you knew you were going to get to. Um, I, for those of you that are single, again, I feel like we've been through a lot of healing. Even those that are coupled, there could be healing, a lot of healing and strengthening of a relationship. Um, choices or, you know, real coming together energy of, I don't know, of coming together in terms of strength. But the Ace of Cups it, upside down in the middle of the week, though, I don't know, there's just a different undercurrent to this. And, you know, Pisces season, again, always has these, you know, there's layers to it as well. Like I was just saying, like there's layers. Like you guys feel very layered this week in your emotions. You might be entering a new period or... I don't know, something we love here, but, you know, again, the lovers is about choices as well. I'm going to pull another clarifier, because these are all one, two, three major arcanas here. Hmm. Oh, okay, that was unexpected. All right, that is not what I expected. That is not what I expected. Um, We're having a... I don't know. We're having some type of heartbreak that's bringing in a choice here. We could have been through some heartbreak recently with this person or experiencing, I don't know, or finding something out. It feels like that is giving us some heartbreak or, you know, they're telling us something that is giving us this, I don't know. Some of us here might suddenly be confronted with a choice of what to do in a relationship. We might be sitting at a crossroads. That might be what's going on here. For those of you that are single, I feel like we're having somebody come back in that once really hurt us and wants to heal things. They're like, I have I have what it takes now, Libra. I have what it takes. Let me show you that I love you. I've strengthened. I've grown. It could be a fire sign. And you're unsure because this person has hurt you. And you might already have somebody else in the mix here. Possibly a water sign or another air sign or even a fire sign. I don't know. There's... I feel like we're having a choice here between a fire sign and somebody else. And the sign, it doesn't really matter as much. Um, this person can be presenting themselves as stronger, as if they've overcome their demons and problems in the past where they couldn't commit. Or, you know, that they were ghosting you, hurting you. They might be coming back now and saying, you know, I'm ready for it. Look at me, I'm a king now. I'm emotionally stable. I'm ready to communicate better. Um, ready to show you that I love you. I have something to say. But you're at this point, in the, in the your energy in the very center of the reading here is, you're hurt and you have to make a choice. There's pain there. When the Ace of Cups is reversed, there's, you know, heartbreak in my opinion. You know, we're, we're crying. It's the feeling of crying. It's a feeling of, you know, being almost a little bit too ruled by our emotions, but also unable to make a decision because our emotions about this are all over the place. Because we're sad, we're happy, you know, we're like, oh my God, I didn't know this was going to happen. This person was going to come back in here. Two of Swords, Ace of Cups shows that, you know, <laughs> there's... There's a choice that needs to be made here about love, and it's about something that we feel very emotional about. Yeah, there's just, we could, again, we, we might be denying the truth of our, our feelings here. We're being confronted with a choice, or being confronted with heartbreak that we know, I don't know, it feels like, again, we're, overall, we're denying the truth of a situation, yet we can feel the truth of it which is interesting. Mentally, you guys are trying to sit on the fence about this and trying not to feel about it. You're trying to hold in your emotions, be strong, but there's something here that has really hurt you. And we're denying a truth here that we know to be real. We de we're denying something that we know to be true. We also might be afraid to release certain feelings. I don't know, Cancer's kind of had this same message this month of, I'm, I'm kind of afraid to, again, they kind of felt very like, I don't know how to express myself or talk to people, communicate how I'm feeling right now. It could be that, that we're sitting on the fence because we don't know how to communicate this. We're trying to 
through this, but you know, the King of Cups says own up to your emotions, own up to your feelings, be confident, say what you need to say here. Also, again, it's uh, the, the sign of emotional maturity with the Six of Swords, Six of Coins. It, it could be that you need to take back what is yours here, take back yourself and, and move on. Some of us here could be moving on because of a heartbreak. And, you know, we, this person can come back in and say this, say that, you know, say all these beautiful things and promise this, promise that. And you could just be like, I'm not doing that this time. I've grown from this emotionally. I've moved on. I'm doing something else now. Like, I've taken back my power. I've, I've grown emotionally. But in the beginning of the week, it does feel difficult. This is difficult. But you know what, Libras? You have the power to withstand whatever this person is offering you. I don't think that this person is... It's coming forward here. I mean, for some of you, what do they really have to offer? What does this person have to offer? Is this... Gosh, you guys have like a lot of layers to this here. What does this person really have to offer? Ooh, too many cards. But I knew this one was gonna come out. I god dang knew it. Oh my god. Oh my god. I was like in my mind, I didn't want to like say it, but I was like, I feel like that's why I want to pull. I was really drawn to pull one for you guys, and I usually never pull this many clarifiers, but what the hell's going on, Libras? Somebody's coming back in to offer you, maybe even, like, even if you're in a relationship, somebody might come in and knock on your door and be like, you want to, like, get back together, they're going to try to heal it, they're going to try to do some sexual healing of this relationship, they're going to try to get back at you here. This is a negative pattern. This is, again, it could also, it doesn't have to be a person if you're in a relationship. This could be a negative situation that brings you a lot of heartbreak that you thought you were over, that you thought you had healed from, and it's coming back around to say, nope, y'all haven't dealt with this. This is something that we need to deal with. This is something that keeps on coming back. You know, this is something that will keep coming back until we really take back our own power and make the decision that we need to about this, to have that conversation, to take back our strength here, um, and maybe even set forth in terms of it on your own. Six of swords, six of coins, taking, to me that's like taking back your power, taking back what somebody had taken from you, restoring that balance, leaving the past behind and being, you know, entering something in a new way. Because the page of wands is very new. He steps into something very much like the fool. It's about beginnings. It's about chasing new energies, new paths here. Again, with the sun, we want that. That's what we want, right? Sun is, you know, what you really want. The happiness, the contentment, that beautiful, you know, ha just absolute sunshine and love i mean it's the happiest card in the deck that's what you want when you think about love in, an, in a relationship so you're going to go out and you're going to find that it could be with a younger fire sign or a fire sign out there that you might be moving on towards because somebody might be coming back in to say i want this and you're like no 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 you ain't coming back in i'm doing something else here again this is going to show up in different ways for you it could be somebody coming back in it could be a pattern emerging in a relationship that you thought you were done with it could be um if you're single this could be again somebody coming in here that you know, maybe ghosted you, or it doesn't even have to be someone that you've dealt with before, but um, somebody that offers those same patterns, that same situation that you've been in before that you didn't like, that brought you heartbreak, something that you've healed from, that you made a conscious choice to get out of. Could be something to do with a Gemini, could be something to do with a Capricorn, a Leo. Um, the sign doesn't matter, honestly. But again, this devil card has been coming up in, I mean, it's Mercury retrograde, it's Pisces season, it's the end of the astrological year. Whatever, you know, negative patterns, situations, issues that we haven't dealt with, addictions, addictive behaviors um, that we haven't dealt with are coming back around to throw themselves in our face and say, are you really, you thought you were done with this, but it doesn't seem like you put it to bed. Whatever we haven't put to bed, whatever we haven't fully released, dealt with, you know, get gotten out of our lives, whatever crap that, you know, we've allowed to kind of sit um, under the surface and not deal with, it's going to come back. Anyways, Libras, oh my God, this got so much more than I wanted it to be. Let's get some cards for love here. All right, one for my singles, Libra singles, for love for March 11th through the 17th of 2019. This is my Doreen Virtue Romance Angels. Oracle cards, Venus, Aphrodite, Angels of Love, messages for single Libras, free yourself, and for coupled Libras. All right, why is this so dark? Oh my gosh. Coupled Libras, coupled Libras. Hmm. 
express your love. All right, interesting. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. All right, free yourself. Um, for my Libra singles, um, you might be feeling trapped and you've relinquished, you've relinquished control to somebody else here. Um, or maybe you feel smothered in your career or relationship. As you tune into yourself, you'll sense the specific areas where this message applies to you. You can even, even ask yourself, in what ways do I feel limited or constrained? Trust the answers you receive. This card comes to you from the romance angels because they've heard your call for great love. To experience passion, though, you must first allow yourself to feel deep emotions. In doing so, you may come up against areas of your life where you harbor discontent. Simply by acknowledging these areas, you bring light to the situation and allow room for the angels to help you. As you commit to taking back control of your life, your feelings will naturally thaw and reawaken. This leads to a greater capacity to love yourself, your partner, and your experiences. And again, guys, it doesn't have to be like singles, couples, whatever, whichever of these resonate with you, I always say go with. Um, maybe both of them do, and that's totally awesome too. All right. Express yourself. Express yourself. All right, I'm not going to sing. <laughs> um, take the initiative in your love life. Contacting someone to whom you're attracted to, asking that person out, um, you know, sending flowers, texts, gifts to, the, to your beloved. As you express romance, these feelings pour through you. You actually become the biggest beneficiary of your romantic displays as you enjoy how they make you feel to an even greater degree. The more you give love, the more you experience it. Of course, do make sure that you're also open to receiving that love that comes to you um, from your higher self, from the angels, from whatever deities you, um, you know, are attached to. Anyways, eh, I didn't want to get into the whole weird rant at the end of that message. Um, but anyways, guys, let's pull one Halloween oracle message from Spirit as a general oracle message, as a general message from Spirit this week for guidance for my Libras. This is from my Stacey DeMarco Halloween oracle. Oh my god, this is so weird. Actually, Virgo got the same thing, and I definitely shuffled these cards. I think maybe it was Pisces or Aries that got this as well. I don't know. This card has been coming up a lot this week. I feel like we're having a lot of opportunity and fortune coming together, honestly, at this time, and we need to be open to it. Um, should the slinky black hat cross your path through this oracle, know that good luck and fortune will be meeting you promptly. Also know that your luck will be even luckier if you are prepared to take advantage of every special opportunity that comes your way. So guys, this is really awesome. Take advantage of the opportunities that come your way. Be open to change. Be open to whatever's coming in here. Um, this is what you've been asking for. It really feels like to me you're manifesting a change in that you've you felt coming. Okay, anyways. All right, Libra. So again, if you want to book a private reading, all that information is right below this video in my description box. Um, and if you want to... Um, share and subscribe it would be super awesome and i would really appreciate it so make sure to subscribe guys um check out your monthly readings for your sun moon rising and venus we are not just our sun sign check out your weeklies for all your placements as well and definitely check out the uranus and taurus video and i will have yours up um for your specific signs for how it will be affecting your specific signs as soon as i possibly can there's a lot of work i've just had so many mercury and retrograde you know, little roadblocks happening. I don't know if I'm going to be sticking with my weeklies anymore, I just want to say. Um, I'll probably end up doing uh, more mid one, first half of the month, second half of the month type readings because they're a lot more doable for me with everything else I'm trying to do right now. So um, anyways, guys, thank you so, so much and have a wonderful week, my Libras.